Hi, Peter. <laughs> You're so quick. Seriously, that that should be my thumbnail. Don't you think? This looks just like so scrumptious. This is going to all go in my tummy. Authentic Japanese bakery in San Jose. I'm so lucky that my friends uh, recommended this place. They go there very often, apparently. Uh, it's really interesting for me to taste all this together with you because uh, as most of you know, I've been living in Japan for 24 years, but a classic of Japanese bakeries is this, the bread with the yakisoba. Believe it or not, I've never had it. Hi guys, I see you coming in. Salut, Marcus, Tam, Jessica. <laughs> voilà, c'est bon, c'est tout, il n'y a personne d'autre. I have never tried this. So my friends yesterday asked me, is there something specific you want? So I checked out the homepage of Clover Bakery and Cafe in San Jose. Uh, Pierre, est-ce que ça t'embêterait de mettre leur Instagram uh, et leur site internet? Parce que j'ai complètement oublié de le mettre dans la description. PG is going to put their Instagram and um, website and I will add it in the description after the live but when I saw the stuff I thought oh my god this looks like the real stuff and I thought it was really funny to try foods that I've never tried even in Japan because to me I'm French <laughs> and I mean say clover clover bakery and cafe Mais si tu mets Clover Bakery in San Jose, tu vas le trouver tout de suite. Hi Bob. Some French guys, and I love bread. And I love Japanese cuisine, and I love yakisoba. But to me, you have bread and you have yakisoba, but you don't mix the two. So this is why I've never tried uh, yakisoba bread. I thought it was interesting to try it here. Also knowing that it looks like the real stuff. And also, seriously, guys, I'm so drooling right now. Could you see that? I'm like, <laughs> you know. Croquet, croquet. It's a croquette in a bun with uh, some cabbage. Christian, hi. Thank you so much for uh, your donation on the GoFundMe. Uh, it really warmed my heart. Thanks a lot. That helps a lot haven't really had this kind of classic let's say bun with the croquette inside so that's going to be interesting to try the musubis guys look amazing i'm going to show you again Attends, on va faire, let me show you the food again alors This is apparently a kind of uh, spread with, it's not a spread, it's homemade of course, but this is canny, this is crab. Hi Trek! Mus the musubi, this one has uh, the spam, some cucumber and uh, tamagoyaki, the Japanese omelette. And we have this one that looks amazing too with spam, tamagoyaki and unagi. And of course the noli uh, on top. And on this one we have some kind of uh, glazing, some sauce. So that's probably the sauce for the... Um, um, unagi. And we have this bun. And I don't remember... Oh seriously, wow, so wow, it's so heavy guys. It's very heavy. We can try this maybe at the end. I would say first, okay, let's try the yakisoba thing first. I don't know. <laughs> uh, my friend says, because you know, I see spaghetti sandwich, but voilà, c'est ça exactement. <laughs> That's it. 
they have also at that bakery um, spaghetti bread like this. But she said, uh, no, I, did, I don't, didn't feel like, I didn't think you, you would like it that much. And I must say that I will probably prefer the yakisoba uh, bread. I'm going to try it. Uh, and we have the galli, that's pickled ginger. I don't, I don't know if I have to warm this up, but I think I can try it like this. Hey, Margot, hi, thank you. So, so much. Did you see that yesterday I went to help adopting Geppetto, the doggy? Uh, I put the update on Instagram and GoFundMe, you probably saw that. But thank you for your help uh, with our trip. Tadakimasu au ka. Allez, on goûte. Tadakimasu. I'm glad you saw the post, Marco. Itadakimasu. Nah. I forgot to tell you that when I opened this, it smelled so much like Japan. Allez, on y va. Ah, c'est pas mal, c'est nice. C'est good. I think maybe I can warm it up. The bread is super soft and light. And the yakisoba has the yakisoba taste, like with a nice sauce. It's good. I like it. <laughs> Why haven't I tried yakisoba bread before, guys? I'm stupid. Je le sais, I know. That's why I want to try new things and I do this also thanks to you, but um, oh my god, this is good. This is surprising to me that bread, I mean, it's starch and starch, right? But it's, I don't know, it's just, it goes well together because the bread is not only the, uh, the two textures go, go well together, but also I think that there is some kind of mildness, I would say. Um, and it matches, the bread matches, they're both like kind of mild, I, I would say, and it goes well together. On va le réchauffer un petit peu. I don't want to heat the whole thing because uh, I will eat that later. A tout petit peu. Who's had? Allez, 10 seconds, c'est bon. Cancel. Who's had yakisoba bread before? There is a place that has it. Okay. Salut Nicolas. Ah oui, ça, alors, euh, ouais. I can't uh, pick the number of watts, but just 10 seconds was plenty enough. Oh, yakisoba smells so good, guys. I'm drooling again. If you've never had yakisoba, you have to have a yakisoba in your life. And I know that they sell yakisoba in the States. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Molto buono. You have to have yakisoba. It's so good, guys. Seriously. It's so cheap in Japan. Yakisoba is the thing I bring back to France always because my sister loves it. All the people who have tried it love it. Je mange un, c'est le lunchtime for me. And everybody loves it. And I think a pack with three portions costs just less than two bucks. Uh, there is a brand that I recommend if you go, if you put yakisoba 
in my on my channel you will see the brand that we like best we've tried most brands and there is one the fresh yakisoba that we like the most trop bon and I hear you can find that brand in Jap um, in the States so veramente buonissimo si alors on va continuer avec je pense le croquet croquet the croquet I've been told to warm this one, I remember. Donc on va couper. And before I forget, Hisae-san, kono live mi ta toki ni yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Ano, mo, kansha no kimochi de ippai desu. I want to say thank you to the owner of Clover Bakery and Cafe. Her name is Hisae-san. And uh, apparently she knows my channel, so Sugoku Urishikata de Soroki Tatoki. Alors, I'm missing some comments. On va goûter ça. Ah, alors attends, c'est bien de le voir. It's good to see the inside cut. Ah, it's a potato kuroke. You want kare pain? Kare pain is good, ne? I know. Kare pain. Curry bread. There is a good place in Omote Sando. I did a live stream there. It was really good. Uh, 10 seconds. I'm going to put the shortcake in the fridge because we don't want it to be too hot because with the pictures and everything, it's been out. Shouldn't be too cold, but not too hot either. Up. Thank you, Bob. Hey, Jessica. I don't know. Did I see you earlier? Yes, I saw you. Allez. Because this, basically, this is again starch with starch, right? Because we have potato in bread. Itadakimasu again. J'adore. It smells like Japan. C'est nice, hein? Mm. I like this because if it smells like Japan, it means that this is the real stuff. You, very often with the smell, I know if it's going to be good or not. And I can tell you that right away from the smell, I knew it was um, it was the real stuff. On va goûter quand même. Thank you much. Hi, North. There is some sauce. Alors, I don't think they have the Japanese, you have the Japanese cabbage. It's probably, I'm not sure, I'm not even sure because this tastes just so Japanese. Those potato croquettes are, are something that I believe for Japanese people, this is comfort food. They love the potato, simple potato croquettes. We buy those croquettes, we make those croquettes at home. Enfin bon, not me, but bon. My friends do. Cook and Delight, nice name, hi. Mm. C'est très bon. It is very good. He says some. So we'll go and see this. I guess that even cold, it's okay. But again, we have here, it's a, those buns are soft bread, ne? but not too soft. And it's not like, you know, the buns, the industrial buns that you find someone, sometimes, you know, the big packets, packs that you find at the supermarket. This is homemade. I hear also that the, this bakery has been there for 20 years, so it has a long history. Uh, it's well known of the locals. 
I think, but hopefully you guys can drive there and if you're nearby, you know, so I, yeah, I think if you like Japanese stuff, you will love this place. Even if we haven't tried everything yet. Alors, je finirai cette bouche après. Some people don't want me to, to see me eating only one thing. <laughs> They're good. Okay, what type of croquettes did you have, PG? I think we can try the cani. J'ai trop faim là, tout d'un coup. <laughs> And Jane has started, guys. You have to have lunch with me. Uh, this bread consistency is different. It's thicker, the dough. You would put a, a potato croquette in between two slices of meat, yeah, probably. But I think that what is interesting with Japanese uh, food is that they've really created, you know, made, made those mixes of They've mixed Japanese food with Western food. Uh, it's really amazing what they've, what they've done. Even if, you know, I was like really re reluctant to try those things. See, I will not die stupid. I'm honestly thinking, why did not I try before yakisoba bread? Because this is really good, I think. And I can tell you, maybe we can go on, uh, on good Yakisoba bread hunt in Tokyo. Ah, ah. I in your. Kore. I wonder if there is some mentaiko. Maybe because it smells of mentaiko. So maybe it's a mix of mentaiko with. And we have some. A little bit of. Kani. Ouais, perfect fusion food. Allez, t'as la qui m'as again. I love mentaiko. Oh, c'est nice. C'est hyper bon. Mm. Ça. On dirait un toast de... Seriously, it's really funny because it reminds me of the canopy we were making at home when I was a kid. Canopy is crab. The... We have, you know, those kind of spreads. It's, it's crab taste. It's... Vous savez, les gars, c'est les petites boîtes qui vendent. C'est des gens de spread, de crème, de crab, lobster, and I think we have salmon. And when it's for Christmas, and especially at Christmas, we buy those, I mean, in my family, we would buy those spreads and put them on um, soft bread. Bread that we can toss, but we would not, it's, it's like small squares. It has totally that taste. And it's really interesting to me that sometimes I eat Japanese food and I'm, I was not born in Japan and I had, I think the first time I had Japanese food was, I don't know, I was in my 20s, I think. And uh, sometimes I can feel, some foods make me feel like they take me back to my childhood and that always impresses me. Ça, c'est, voilà, ça me fait penser à makes me think of uh, of a spread we have in France. It's really good. So it's uh, mm -hmm. mm. I think there is definitely mentaiko. I can feel a little bit the putti putti. And then it has this canny flavor. It's really good. Guys, 
Can someone please deliver me champagne right now? I would love to have this again. Cut it in small slices and have this with champagne, guys. So now I kind of so I didn't I missed a lot of comments, but you know this place is really good, huh? This with sparkling at aperitif, super. Talking high. Delicious. Last weekend you went? Ouais, ça doit ça des rillettes de thon, saumon et crabe, ouais. Et tu sais, sur des petits carrés de, de pain de mie, quoi. Alors, guys, I have to say that to me, so far, the three, this is, I don't know, this is just number one. Probably because it reminds me so much of something we have in France. Then I would say the yakisoba because I love yakisoba so much. I love yakisoba more than croquette, so that's why. But the bun is, the croquette is really good too. C'est Clover, Clover Bakery and Cafe in San Jose. <laughs> okay? T'as le... Pierre, si tu veux remettre le lien. I think this is maybe sweet. Maybe this is some anko paste or what? This is very heavy. Ah bah, on va le, on va le couper. Let's cut it. But maybe if it's sweet, I will have this at the end and we can try the musubi. Ah ouais, tu vois, c'est le... Anko! <laughs> On adore le anko! Anko is so good and seriously, when you buy those buns and it's like just a tiny bit of anko, people are like, you know, just don't be stingy on the anko. They are not stingy on the anko at Clover Bakery and Cafe. <laughs> Jeff is going there right now. I think it's a good idea. So they have a, a website, but also check out their Instagram because apparently they've created um, a site recently. C'est amazing. Et c'est, that's why it was so heavy and that's why I guess it was uncle, guys. Desserts. Have a lot of desserts. Alors, musubi, we will try usually, you know, when we go to sushi restaurant, they give you the unagi, the eel, at the end of the meal because they put a kind of a little bit sweet sauce on it. So, usually we like to have it at the end of the meal. So, I'm going to have this one first. I'm so lucky! Yeah, I'm starting to really enjoy this trip. Alors, comment je vais faire? Allez, je vais le couper en deux. Non, attends, quand même. En fait, je devrais le manger directement comme ça. Allez, no cutting, because I'm not uh, heating it. Thank you, Mass, again. Alors, je vais C'est trop gros, c'est trop épais le truc! This is, I don't know, this tastes like comfort food too. Why? And you know that I did not consider spam as being like food for humans. <laughs> this spam is good. Is there like, is there different qualities of spam? Because this is really good. And also I think probably the way it's cooked. Because I think it's been cooked. It's not just a slice of spam. It must have been like cooked a little bit and uh, you have to get this Jeff c'est vraiment très très bon uh, so all the moist of it's not a fatty <laughs> spam with a lot of moist it's been cooked I believe uh, so it's it's not dry but it's not too moist and you don't feel any fat. 
and maybe also this is just simply if they are quality of spam then they are also i believe using good spam voilà hi dan Just making sure it's good. I, I don't want to eat all this stuff, but I'm just making sure it's really good. C'est trop bon. It's oishi sugi. The problem is that now I'm tasting this and I'm like, this is number one. But then I will taste that and I will like, this is number one. Alors, on va, let's have this last one, last but not the least, with the eel at the top. You can see the glazing, the sauce. Tada, kimas again! Spam and unagi. C'est hyper bon. <laughs> number one. <laughs> number one, they're all number one. You have to try this, guys. It's amazing. Because the meaty taste of the spam. But spam also is kind of, it's a little bit <laughs> sweet, no? It's like kind of sweet processed meat. Seriously, I'm salivating just like, oh my God, this is so good. Uh, this, uh, we have to make this be a short, short live stream. I want to eat. Uh, the tacos can wait. We can do the tacos tonight. Uh... The sweetness, the kind of sweet processed meat that is spam with the tali, the sauce on top of the unagi is just like, wow, it's such a good match. Uh, the egg, always a nice addition and good combination, a good thing to com combine with um, both, actually, because you know that in Japan, um, sometimes they feel the omelettes with unagi so it's definitely a good match it goes well with the spam too <laughs> je suis en train de me transformer en vrai uh, i like so so much things that i considered as being junk before and now you know i love it amazing uh i am not in san jose but i wish i were there because I can't have people delivering things for me from there all the time. You're hungry, but yeah, I'm impressed, guys. Tu vois, là, c'est bon, là, j'ai envie de terminer. You know me. C'est bon. My brain, like right now, guys. I'm sorry, you lost me. I have the food in my head and I want to eat this stuff. And I was about, I almost forgot that we have to try this and the shortcake. Jennifer, be good. I love this. It's, this is real Japanese stuff, but high quality um, the classics, this and you know, it's super high quality. Huh? So if you want to try authentic, classic Japanese bakery and uh, pastries and all those, you know, fusion foods, you have to go to Clover 
à Bakery and Café in San Jose. <rire> bon allez, on goûte ça parce que là du coup j'ai envie de le goûter. I want to try it now. Ah ben bon appétit Nicolas. just so nice to have you take a mouthful and it just expands in the mouth you know <laughs> j'adore c'est hyper bon it's not too sweet it's really a un coup I'm just going to try I'm going to try just the un coup It's a very neat, clean, pure taste of anko. Oh, c'est trop bon quoi. C'est voilà, that's what you get when you have someone. I mean, this is made by the owner is Japanese, so she knows, and she's been doing this for 20 years and probably more because you know. Uh, You don't start cooking like this. C'est trop bon. I like this anko because not only because the balance of this bun is amazing. But the anko taste is not too sweet. You know that I don't like too sweet. I like it because also it's firm. I don't like anko when it gets like... Sometimes it's too creamy. It has a perfect consistency. Firm consistency. Clean pure anko taste, not too sugary. The bun also is nice because it's not too light. It has also a firm, the bread consistency is firm. It's very good. And you know that I'm not, I mean, when I have this, I don't want to switch to sweets, but say number one, two, this is very good too. I like it. Mm. Taco Bell, Taco Bell, ah non. Attends, I don't know the taste of Taco Bell, but I don't want. Je veux pas savoir, là. Non. Alors, ce shortcake. So cute. Now I just like, I expect it to be amazing too. <laughs> It va être amazing, je pense. Ah. <laughs> Mais je fais trop tout. Alors, on va lui même lui prendre une petite assiette en porcelaine. Sorry, I, I missed some comments. Voilà, on va couper ça ensemble, les amis. Euh, comment je vais faire ça? Ah non, we don't want to... Let's do a quarter. What do you think? It's tellement kawaii. I took nice, what I believe is nice pictures. So I will post them on Instagram. Donc, soft as it should be. Là, les gâteaux, c'est toujours le gros stress de ne pas faire tomber. Puis la première, the first slice is always the trickiest. Est-ce que je l'ai bien coupé Je ne le sens pas là. Je ne sens pas le truc. Did I cut it Uh -huh. 
I want to show you the inside. Did I get okay? That is your good ass. Oh yes. Kawaii. Et là, si je le fais tomber le truc, je suis vraiment bête. Oula, 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 oula. Ok, des. Attends, c'est trop C'est toujours la masse de kid. It was always me who had to cut the, the cakes. <laughs> Because nobody wants to cut the cakes. Allez, c'est bon. Mm. Ah, c'est bon. Mm. I think this is whipped cream. Donc, qu'est-ce qui se passe, ce gimbal Il y a un petit problème là. It's very light. The whipped cream ha tastes, it has a taste. And sometimes in Japan, the little problem uh, is that it, it's tasteless. This has uh, a slight mild taste. Taste, it's good. Alors, J'adore, là, ça va être trop bon. Ça va être encore un number one, celui-là, je le sens, mais bon. On mangera la fraise après. Attends, allez. Ah zut. Je suis tellement pressée, là, je peux plus, là. C'est bon, on arrête de faire des manières. <rire> on va manger. Ah... Um... I'm back in Japan. <laughs> Show some mercy. No, I will have no mercy on you, feeders. <laughs> you ask, you're asking for this all the time. Regarde, avec la fraise là, the strawberry has a good taste of ripe strawberry. The problem is that sometimes, you know, if you get a shortcake and the strawberry is not tasty or hard, the consistency sometimes, that's not good either. Ne? Antarctica. Bon, ça va. Greatness. Alors, I, I refrain from uh, because I don't want kids to do that. But when I was in, a kid, I was doing it, and my father would all be, always be like, "Don't do this. You're going to cut yourself." Bon, c'est bon. Je suis pas trop raté de commentaires. Alors. On leur remet le link, PG. Are we putting the link again? Clover Bakery and Cafe in San Jose, California. That bakery has been there for 20 years. Uh, it's run by Japanese people. You get, I confirm, the real. this is the real stuff. Uh, I'm almost empty that it's even better i know it's not i'm not tempted i can say that this the quality of those products is higher than the average pastries that you will buy in japan this is way higher this the quality is exceptional i think i'm really impressed that i can get such an authentic japanese taste in california this is a really great surprise because there's nothing I dislike more than having French food or Japanese food abroad and it's just like a pale copy of the real stuff. This place is simply amazing. Thank you so much. This is just amazing. Stay tuned for the pictures on Instagram. Um, 
I will add the link. They have an account on Instagram. It's, it's half fit and so it doesn't look that amazing anymore, maybe. But still, you're right. It looks good, huh? Shortcakes, guys. You always envy me when I have shortcakes in Japan. Clover Bakery and Cafe. That's where you can get a real shortcake. So I think, I mean, I would drive two hours to get a shortcake if I had a crave for a shortcake. The musubi, seriously, when Nicolas, c'est uh, trop bon, quoi. Now the question is when I end the live, which, what am I going to eat? Because I want to eat everything. Everything is just so good. Très, très belle surprise. Very good discovery. Thank you to my friends who introduced me, who fed me, who brought me all this. Um, et voilà, uh, Clover Bakery and Café Hontonia, les gars, vous avez machita. Cotisson Samatesta. I'm really, I can say that if I were living, if you chip in and buy me a house in, in California and I start living here <laughs> with the babies, <laughs> we need to get me a house close to Clover Bakery because when I will have cravings for Japanese food, I know this is one of the places where I will go. Hello, heads up. Uh, about the live streams that I'm planning to make over the next, probably next week. Um, I'm thinking actually to do, because I've seen and you tell me very often about Japanese stores in California. So if I can do a Japanese store tour, I will do that and check out the products of course, they are all different, but if I can check out the products with you, I think that would be interesting. What do you think? Hi, JK. Uh, I want to do supermarket uh, tour because I haven't done so when I was here six months ago. And you know that I like to discover what, uh, what's in, in the stores with you. Uh, the link that PG just posted, which I've done a GoFundMe to, for if some of you want to help with the expenses of this trip, because it turns out to be very expensive, as you probably guess, because I'm not, I'm not traveling on my own. Uh, that's the link that I will add also afterwards in the description. JK, I'm sorry, I'm at the end. Parce que là, je peux plus, là, les gars. <laughs> je vous aime. I love you guys, but I need to eat. Huh? So I'm almost at the end of the live stream. Voilà. So if you want to check out uh, this GoFundMe, please, you will have the detail also of the live stream that I'm intending to do. Maybe some of you don't know that I have traveled with Lisa and Charlie here this time. So there will be also uh, doggies activities uh, on the channel. Voilà. It's an amazing assortment, right, too. Voilà, so check it out. Thank you so much for joining and liking. Uh, et voilà, à bientôt. The tacos. Beria tacos that is said to be super popular in California. I will do a live stream tonight. Uh, Pierre and Nicolas, vous serez en train de dormir, mais là, je crois que ça va être too much. So this is going to be rather my dinner. Huh? Beria tacos. Apparently, the difference with uh, classic tacos is that you dip them in a consomme, in a broth. So that's an interesting concept and it's very popular in California right now, it, uh, I've been told. So we can taste that later on, okay? Stay tuned, I will create the link at least half an hour before starting. Voila, voila, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to stop the live and put all the information in the description. So if you want to check it out, if you miss some things in about 10 minutes, uh, please do so. Voilà, ben merci. Et puis, ben, bonne soirée. J'espère que les lasagnes étaient bonnes. Pierre, gros bisous. à Amounim aussi. Et euh, ben, vous regarderez en replay. Alors, hein? Voilà. Et 
lots of love to those who will watch when we play voila thank you guys and let me know if you go and get uh these things please put a comment and let us know how you found it okay voila gros bisous bye 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 guys <laughs>